Hey view kids, we miss you so much. Um, we're praying for you and we hope that you guys are keeping safe and healthy. Um, but I'm excited because today is Pajama Sunday. I'm in my onesie and I can't wait to see the amazing photos of you all in your onesie. So don't forget to ask mom or dad to take a photo or take a selfie of you in your PJs. And we are going to um, give a prize to the fun and the craziest and the best photo. So um, I hope you guys are warm and snug, but get ready to get even more warm because we are going to do some praise and worship. So get up on your feet and get ready to praise and worship God. What is up you kids? I'm so excited that I can be doing worship with you today and I hope you are all nice and snugly warm in your pajamas because today is Pajama Sunday and if you are a little bit chilly, I know something that will warm you up. It's worship. So let's get started.
hope you guys are all nice and warm and tired and let's listen to the lesson hey view kids have you ever had something big change in your life mainly it was something big or something small at home or at school why don't you take a moment to think about a time where something big changed in your life change can be really good or sometimes change can be really hard the good news is, is that there's something out there that never ever changes. Can you take a guess what it is? God's love. God's love never ever changes. So let's watch a video now to learn more about God's unchangeable love. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And it's me, Andy. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Cool TV. <laughs> oh, hey, how's it going? Good, you seem distracted. What are you working on? Oh, this? You probably wouldn't be interested. Okay. Fine, I'll tell you. It's my no mess up notes. Your what? No mess up notes. I put everything I mess up on this notepad. Then I do all I can to not mess up. And this week, I've done a pretty good job. Wow, that's cool. So can you tell me what's on the list? What aren't you supposed to do? Well, I mean, I guess, as long as you don't tell anyone. Promise. All right, things I didn't mess up this week. Take a shower, wash my face, make my bed, make my dog's bed, sneeze with my eyes open, sneeze with my front door open, sneeze with my car door open, juggle a gerbil, gamble a goose, shuffle a shamu, tie my shoes, brush my teeth, wrestle a bear, fight a gorilla, tussle the kangaroo, be on time to school, turn in my homework, do my wildebeest impression. Wildebeest? Yep. What's your wildebeest impression? Oh, well they have a very unique sound and I do a really good impression of them. But I've been told that it gets pretty annoying. Oh, I don't think I've heard it. Oh, it's great. You'd love it. All right, then. Let's hear it. All right. <clears throat> wow. That is amazing. Also, I can see how that gets annoying. <laughs> yeah, back to the list. What? What's wrong? I messed up. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I was just going over what I haven't done this week, and I just messed up by doing that silly impression. Oh. Oh? Oh? Yeah, I just messed up my whole week, man. Carl, it's gonna be all right. I think you just need to take a breath, relax, and let's, I don't know, let's jump into today's story. Fine, are we still talking about David? We sure are, and this is a story that really shows just how amazing God really is. Huh, wow, well, I'm looking forward to this then. Well, the story is happening in 2 Samuel, and David is still king of Israel. Did everyone love him? The people of Israel adored King David. He was a warrior and God was very good to David. Was he still fighting in battles? He was, but in this story, he stayed back home while his armies went to battle. Why is that? I'm not sure if it was because he was getting older or maybe this specific battle was a small one or maybe they just didn't need him. But either way, David was at home on his roof. On his roof? What was he doing? Just going for a walk, but it was at this moment that he saw a woman named Bathsheba. <laughs> That's a funny name. I guess, yeah. Well, David thought she looked really pretty, and so he had his guards go get her, and David fell in love with her, and she became pregnant. Oh, that's so cute. Well, well what? The thing is, Bathsheba was married. Yeah, to David. Nope. No, you mean she was married to someone else and David did what he wanted? Decided to make her his own wife? Yep. That's not right. Not at all. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe he didn't know. I mean, maybe this was just an honest mistake, right? <laughs> Andy. Tell me he didn't know. Tell me he didn't know. Andy. Well. Well, again? I mean, he knew? Come on, David. Yeah, and it gets worse. How could it possibly get worse? Bathsheba's husband, Uriah, was a soldier in David's army. Uh-huh. And David sent out an order to the general. Oh, I'm scared to ask. What was the order? He made sure Uriah was at the front of the group during the battle. Wait, wouldn't that be like the worst place to be? I mean, he would probably die. Unfortunately, that's what David wanted, and sadly, Uriah did die. 
That's awful. How could David do that? David had messed up and he thought this was the best way to fix everything. Fix everything? He just made it worse. I thought I was messed up, but <laughs> wow. David made a real big mess of things. I totally get why you'd say that. You know, we all mess up in different ways, but you know what's unusual? God still loves us. Not David though, right? Why would you say that? What? What David did was so wrong. It's like unforgivable. I mean, I know God loves everyone, but how could God still love David? It's impossible. Well, I have some news for you, Carl. God did still love David very much. I mean, yeah, David really did make some terrible mistakes and he would have to deal with the consequences of those things later, but God never stopped loving David. So God loves us no matter what we do? And there's nothing that we can do to change how much God loves us? That's right, nothing can make God love us any more or any less. <laughs> wow, that definitely makes me feel better about messing up because I know God's love is unchangeable. Hey Carl, that's our big idea. Today's big idea is God's love is unchangeable. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. God's, God's love, love is unchangeable. unchangeable. Yeah. <laughs> unchangeable like my pants. I've never changed them, but it's like fine cheese. You know, the longer you age them and don't touch them, the better they become. Well, I learned a lot this month. What a unusual and unlikely story David had. I'm glad. So what are you going to do with that notebook? I'll probably get rid of it. it kind of smells like up dog anyway. What's up dog? Not much. What's up with you? <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. <laughs> <laughs> Look who fell now. All right. We'll see you next time, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Good morning, viewers. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're all snuggly and warm. It has certainly been a couple of cold days. Yes, you guessed right. I'm still in my pajamas because it's Pajama Sunday in church. And that's why I put my gown on because it is nice and ice cold. And we certainly hope that you are all warm. If you're watching in bed, if you're watching in your lounge, just make sure that you've got a nice cup of hot chocolate with you and that you're staying warm. Mm. Then we can dig in because it's going to be a super nice lesson. Boys and girls, I want to do a little demonstration for you about God's unchangeable love. Now, if you look here, I've got a bowl and I'm going to put some pepper in there. All right. And now I'll just watch what happens when I stick my finger in there. And I pull it out. What do you see? The pepper sticks to my finger and the pepper represents our sins. The pepper that sticks to my finger. You know, sometimes we hurt people. Sometimes we do stuff that isn't right and we feel that we just can't get rid of it. And it's that sin sticks to us like the pepper sticks to my finger. But unlike people that can't forgive us, God always forgives us. And it's kind of, you know, God's love is like, think of it if you have like soap on your hands. If I stick my finger in the water again, and I, there's no paper sticking to it. That's how God's love washes away our sins. Unlike people that might not forgive you for stuff that you've done or never forget about it, God's unchangeable love will always forgive. And that's the most amazing part. You know, even though we might hurt people and they might bear a grudge or whatever, doesn't matter when we do the wrong thing sometimes or we hurt God, God will always forgive us. And it's amazing if you think about this example with the pepper, just how amazing God's forgiveness and love is. It's you dip your finger in the bowl and there is no pepper sticking. There's no sins. And that's how God washes away our sins. Isn't it amazing to know that God loves us so much that He's willing to wash away all our sins if we give our heart to Him? Aren't you glad God's love is unchangeable? Let's close our eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us so much that no matter what we do, you are always willing to forgive us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week. 
Those of you going back to school, stay safe, look after each other, and have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. What an incredible um, Sunday this week. I hope you enjoyed seeing us all in your pajamas. And we can't wait to see you guys in your PJs. So don't forget to take a photo, um, tag us on Instagram at Church Sunningdale, and we will pick a winner. See you guys next week, where we'll announce and give some shout-outs to the craziest and most fun photos. Bye, guys.